Adobe Photoshop for iPad, the Dodge and Burn tool is missing. So we've got to do a workaround and here's how we do it. Load your portrait photo and add a new blank layer and then select that layer. Here we go. New layer. Select that layer. Take a brush with soft round edges. There's our brush there. There's our brushes there. Now, soft round. I think that's pretty good. We don't want soft round. We want soft round 251. We don't want hard round, but soft round. That's what we want. And the hardness. We don't want a terrible lot of hardness on it. We want the circle about 251, but we want to start painting with black. So paint on the skin where you want to add a burn effect with black. Now where we want to add a burn effect, let's take it on the inside of her nose there. You can see we're on the new layer and we're painting where we want to add the the burn effect a little bit there a little bit there and perhaps around there and up there now we select white so same brush it's just white now we're going to paint on the skin all white there. Down the bridge of her nose, we're going to lighten that up. We want to lighten up under her eyes there. Remember this is this is um, the dodge effect. And a couple of places there. Change the layer blending to soft light. So let's go to layer blending. Now the blend mode, we want to change that to soft light. There it is there. And you can see already that hasn't wiped out those effects, but it's changed them to a much softer light which is just what we want. But now we can get that out of the way and we go to filters and adjustments and select Gaussian blur. Now you can see I've got the blur amount preset there to about 150 but I'll drop that back and you can see where the dodge and burn effects are and they look like smudges but if we take them out there that's lightened it up considerably smoothed out the effects considerably to 168 let's back that off just a little bit 142 that's better 121.8 let's see if that's done don't forget because that's a mask there literally you can come back and fix that later if you if you feel you want to now let's have a look at before and after there's after there's before there's after and there's before there we go dodge and burn in adobe photoshop for ipad who needs all the extra tools to do it for you when you can do it yourself in a few clicks and an extra layer. Now I hope you've enjoyed this quick little tutorial. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Click on subscribe and tap the bell so you're reminded of future videos when they pop up just like this one. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.